Michael Brown, truth about, right? So now I'm waving this sheet because I'm about halfway through. <laughs> like, oh, thank God. No, because if you're still watching, um, it must be getting something out of it, right? So <clears throat> um, we have a couple other questions. We should be able to get through a couple, two, three on this one. Um, so uh, another question is how much money can I expect to save on my bill? And so my solar system is uh, sized so I can be at net zero. Net zero means net zero kilowatt hours wise. Like my system overall in an annual basis generates almost exactly what I consume on an annual basis. <clears throat> and I'm very good at that because I really understand kilowatt hours. I really understand consumption. And I really understand the production of my system. I really do. Like I'm super savant when it comes to um, electricity and energy. It's my thing. And I've got all the training and all the certificates and all the accreditations to prove it. And you can take me to task and try to call me out on something, but I'm going to beat you. <laughs> um, so uh, how much money can I expect to save? You can get your system sa uh, size so where you could save all of the build kilowatt hours. So being connected to the grid, you're still going to have a connection charge. Right. So the utility, in order to have that connection so that you have electricity when the sun goes down and you might say, well, I'll just get a battery system. I'll use batteries overnight. Well, now you have to have a bigger solar system and batteries. <clears throat> so you've doubled, tripled the cost of your solar system um, because uh, you're going to have to have enough kilowatt hours in your battery system to discharge not even to half of the capacity overnight. And then you're going to have to have the solar to support everything that you're consuming, plus put back an exponential number into the batteries. Because uh, if you use two kilowatt hours of battery, it takes three or four kilowatt hours to put that two kilowatt hours back into the battery. Um, and there's science to that but that could be another video i think it was one earlier i think i discussed that earlier um, about the whole jumble of electrons and how to get everything crammed and tangled and uh and what discharging is, is uh, anyways um i said i was going to try and get through more of these okay so uh you could save everything on your bill in fact on my bill because i'm net zero at the end of the year i usually have a surplus of uh kilowatt hours so the first couple of bills, um, I think this last year, the first couple of bills, I actually had a zero bill because they took that uh, surplus kilowatt hour that I had, converted it into a monetary value and applied that to the connection fee for the first couple months until it was exhausted. <clears throat> they don't pay you retail <laughs> for your surplus end of the year uh, kilowatt hours. Up until the end of the annual billing cycle, it's kilowatt hours for kilowatt hours, which means it's dollar for dollar, kilowatt hour for kilowatt hour. So you can save everything um, and or you could save a portion depending on what your budget is, depending on how much roof you have too. Do you have enough roof to produce all of the kilowatt hours that you use? Which leads to uh, give us a call and we can come out and install a sense and then you can know exactly what uh, appliances are using what electricity and what time of day that's happening and how often it's happening and adjust your uh, behavior and habits so that you save money. Wouldn't that be something? That's an investment. That's a $400 investment for an installed sense and that's it and then all you have to do is pay attention to how you use electricity and you could save a hundred dollars a month i've known people that can save a hundred dollars a month i mean my i use less but that's because i know what i'm using all right uh will solar panels generate electricity on cloudy or rainy days yes a little depending on how much cloud cover you have um 
just slightly overcast. If if you're casting a shadow, if you go outside and you can see your shadow, then you're doing pretty good. Okay, um, you're going to have pretty good production. Not great, not a hundred percent, but pretty good production. <laughs> if you're not casting a shadow, you are going to, unless you can't see. If you can't see. If it's dark as night, then no, it's not producing any electricity. If it is, if you can see, we've had systems that have tried to start at night. I had to go out, like years ago, I installed a system for one of the professors or, or one of the uh, researchers out at the Florida Solar Energy Center. I installed a system on his house years ago, maybe 10 years ago, maybe more, maybe 15 years ago. I've been in business 20 years. And didn't even think about where we installed the inverter, and neither did he. <clears throat> and a month later, he calls us, and he says, you have to put the inverter somewhere else. <laughs> and, and I asked him why, and he says, well, uh, we had a full moon this last weekend, and uh, the inverter kept trying to start. So the reflection from the sun off of the moon, uh, so the, the moonlight, was producing enough electricity to tell the inverter, I want to start. But it wasn't enough electricity for it to actually start. So, <laughs> so, so it would go through these uh, cycles and click and tick and then turn off, you know, and, and these relays within the inverter. <laughs> and the inverter happened to be mounted on the wall of his bedroom <laughs> and i guess his uh his, his bed was right behind that wall and so it was keeping them enough up that weekend so we had to come out and replace not replace but move his inverter so it doesn't take much okay but the more light the better and the average kilowatt hours per day as far as solar irradiance is measured on an annual basis over a 20 year time study. So if you go to NREL or PV Watts, P V W A T T S, uh, you can do a calculator on your own home without getting a bunch of marketing and you'll actually be getting the research. Okay. So I would suggest you do that. And those are based on 20 year studies for uh, uh, airport located research systems. Okay, where they monitor over time the average production and they also get to look at the weather because the magical thing about a solar system, if you monitor it, you'll actually see weather patterns. You can see storms, you can see all kinds of things that come through because of the peaks and valleys in the production. So if you have a nice sunny day, you'll see this nice curve, nice and round, no jagged things. But if you have this, these rainy storms and stuff like this it's all jagged it's all up and down up and down up and down um, because the clouds go through and uh, storms it gets very dark all for a little while and then it does it you know it, the clouds open or you know it's really nice here and then all of a sudden it does this and it means that it was nice in the morning and then the storm rolled in so uh, the short answer is yes rainy and cloudy days during the day, it will produce electricity. Very rarely is it not going to start because very rarely are the storms so bad that it's as dark as it is when it's night. <clears throat> okay, what type of panels should I be looking for? What's on the label? Okay, so it, the technology, everybody's going to try and sell you on technology. Everybody's going to sell you, try and sell you on uh, manufacturer. Manufacturer matters as far as being attached to a name and a company that has longevity, right? Um, and look into that company and make sure that they have longevity. Um, and other than that, what's on the label is what they're warranted to, okay? So don't fall victim to we have the latest greatest, we have unique in all the world or this, that, and the other, because usually what that means is you're going to pay more or we're just trying to sell you that we're better than those guys which normally is not the case. Uh, Michael Brown, we got a next one coming in because I'm in my time window. All right, see you next time.